Welcome to the 2021 United States Women's Disc Golf Championships. I am Ian Anderson, joined by world champion Sarah Hokum. We're here to kick off this feature card with Haley King, Katrina Allen, Ellen Whitboom, and Zoe Andike. We're out at Auburn Regional Park for this first round of three rounds of this major championship, and I'm excited to see what the ladies can do out here. That should be really fun. A really kind of a cool hole to start your day. Yeah, ab absolutely. Start slightly downhill, straight ahead to a blind basket with a dry creek bed on the left. The pathway is not out of bounds here. Most players are going to throw a flip up backhand that finishes as straight as possible without turning it over into that right side tree line. There's also a sidearm route. We might see Ellen take that one. Oh, yeah. She does have a fantastic sidearm you will see all day. Uh, you're looking at Zoe Andike, and she has a sphinx in her hands. And that is Ke a young Kendrick Lamar died on top of it. Oh. Turned it over a little bit, a little bit high out of her hand, but she'll have a couple hundred feet to approach the basket, mm -hmm. maybe 150 feet. That is another world champion, Katrina Allen, going for a D2. There was a little bit of wind out there today. It was pretty variable. Ooh, that's a, whoa, hey there. Bonus roll. Trickle, keep going. Nice. Awesome. That'll leave her just outside the circle. Oh yeah, clean look too. Ellen Widboom reaching for a sidewinder. Over the tennis courts. And this spicy. I, I like this one. I did not see that line. I was thinking a little bit tighter. Yeah. Didn't get the fade she needed, but the line was really cool. That's a really open shot to the pin. Mm -hmm. Yeah, nice little forehand approach for our left. Haley King going for a stalker. Very straight flying fairway. Ooh, this is looking good. Flying a little Needs too to straight. No, oh, missed stuff though. Well, she'll have some trees over there to contend with. Yeah. Ellen, she'll be throwing a pig approach. 150 to the bucket. I like this line. Um, little tree in the way there. Yeah, kind Challenge of Challenge that first putt. Unfortunate little rock kick at the end there. Zoe Andike, really touchy approach here with this downhill green. And leaving her at the downhill kind of deathy putt. Mm -hmm. Speaking of downhill death putts, that's Haley King and... Oh, she was running that. She was, like. right? Yeah, I think so. Very aggressive on the green is Haley. Thank Katrina you. Allen, stroke on the card. Really good look at the pin. Oh, I wanted that one so bad. Wow. That was a great run. I mean, the downhill putt with a push putt, it's an easy to miss those high. Yeah. But the stroke looked solid. It did. It did. Very confident. Zoe Andike, this will be to save a par. Oh, just like nubbed out. Yeah. Unfortunate result there. Ellen, Ellen Woodboom trying to save par. Oh, mm. man. The basket is impenetrable. <laughs> that Mach 7 says no. Haley King. There's a par. Breaking the force field. So she'll take a par. Zoe will drop in a bogey along with Ellen, and Kat will have a par too. Almost a birdie. That would have been a great one to, to start the day. Yeah, one of the more difficult holes, we didn't actually have any birdies in the entire field. I was going to ask you about that, yeah. Really fun course you guys are going to watch today. Filming it all day yesterday, I was like, I want to throw that hole, I want to throw that hole. Yeah, definitely the most difficult of the three courses on the slate this weekend. Lots of elevation, really tight lines, and OB in a lot of areas. Yeah, a lot of tight lines off the tee of two, Sarah. Right. Speaking of tight lines, this one plays downhill and loses about 35 feet of elevation. Players are going to choose the low shot on a neutral hyzer or the high hyzer looking to go over the top of these oak trees, which is a big pump. Players are looking for this open landing zone off to the left, about 250 feet. Give them an easy pitch up to the basket. Um, the high line actually challenges the OB road on the left side. So players are going to have to push it out right far enough to make sure that they stay inbounds. 
And then the green is pretty guarded and slightly sloped with a creek behind it. Yeah, it's just right there, maybe like five to ten feet past the basket. Uh, Katrina Allen throwing a D1 on a hyzer line and left it just a little bit inside will be punished. Has a lot of work left and to do. And those are only about 80 feet off the tee, that first gap. And I did not see this coming from Haley King going way high with her Zeus. And she lands down there and it's going to have a 60 foot look, something like that. But you'll, you'll take that off the tee, I feel like. On this hole for sure. Zoe with the low line oh. gets a kick left. It's going to be trouble over there. Ellen Widboom. She's going over the top with a sidewinder. And that got a little more flip than she wanted up high. Looks like it stalled yeah. and trickled down. Also, that is not not where she wants to be. That's going to be some trouble. Yeah. So Speaking of trouble. Yeah. When you throw in a forehand roller, never a good sign. Ooh. Oh, it was good, though. That's really good. She's a little bit blocked by that bush on the left to get a clean putt, but she'll, I mean, she'll have an, a circle two look. Yeah. Bogey at worst now. Ellen, right-hand side of the fairway, pitching across. Wow. Oh, oh. my gosh. <laughs> oh, man, I wish that would have stuck. Man. What a shot from her position. That was so cool. Zoe got some great kicks. Oh, but not a great skip there. Yeah, still 20 feet. She's a good putter. Mm -hmm. Cat just kind of stuck laying up for bogey. Yeah. Haley King from 71 for the two. Creek just long right. Really nice Annie line, though. That's mm -hmm. a tough putt. And Zoe trying to save par. In the bucket. Good straddle putt. It's a great technical save. Mm -hmm. This will be a bogey for Katrina Allen after that very early tree hit on the drive. Did the best she could from there. Man, that over-the-top route, that's an advantage. If you've got it, I mean, I feel like it takes almost 450 feet of distance to get there. Mm -hmm. But it kind of does take bogey out of the equation, at least, in, in theory. Ellen, what a great par save from Ellen. Almost a two. Yeah, man, I <laughs> I really wish that would have stayed. But she hit a I mean, that was perfectly executed. And getting that great par save putt from Zoe. Uh, we will head into hole three. Tell us about it, Sarah. Hole three plays uphill through one of two gaps, adding about 15 feet of elevation to the green with a severe drop off to the with a creek on the left side. Most players are going to choose the backhand hyzer through the right gap, but they'll still need to keep it low enough to fly under the tree branches and throw a slow enough disc to avoid skip, skip or roll to the left side. There's also a flex route on that left side that would keep the creek and the steep slope on the left out of play. Haley King. Throwing a buzz and into a rock. Yeah, I mean, it's, tough dis it's a tough height uh, challenge, throwing it high enough to get over the rocks, but not so high that you hit the upper branches. Zoe going for a T-bird, and that one leaked down the, Ooh, the, the hill. Rocks are coming into play. It's going to make those boom. disc edges a little jagged. With the Roadrunner, this has got the business on it. Dang, Ellen. Whoa. Calm down. Well, I mean, you know, she hit the gap. Yeah, she did. She's not down the hill. She's got a look. Cat going with an A2 overstable approach disc. Mm. Mm. It's so easy to turn those really overstable discs over when you're dealing with elevation. Looking at her second, trying to save par now. That was nice. Yeah, great, great recovery. Haley trying to find a, the cleanest route to the basket and opting for the forehand zone play. Skip, skip, skip. Yeah, there's so much skipping happening um, on this course. Mm -hmm. A little bit less on this course than the other courses, but the hard pan ground gives you extra ground play that you have to consider yeah, when kind choosing of once, the line. When you're in the woods, you got to start really thinking about that. Ellen, looking for a birdie. Ellen dangerous for, from range too. Absolutely. Her putts look, her putt looks good. She makes a lot of those. Cat. Oh. Really tense stroke. She yeah. must be feeling the pressure. I mean, it is a major. It is a major. Yep. Looking to get off to a good start. You can't win the tournament in the first round, but you can you can help yourself lose it. 
Haley King, par save. No problem there. And we are birdie list through three. The course showing its teeth early. There's a lot of scoring to happen, especially through the middle of the course. Yeah. Yeah, it kind of opens up. There's kind of like three sections of the course, it feels like. The early wooded section, like the open section, and like the late wooded section. Very dynamic. I dig it. Booming it up the fairway. We'll be right back. When I walk up to the tee, I have these game plans. I think I'm going to land in these same areas every single time, but you never know. Having the Bushnell rangefinder, no matter where I land, gives me that extra level of confidence. Hole four, Sarah. What's our pro play on this one? This one plays downhill through a gap, losing about 30 feet of elevation to a sloped green with a couple blocker rocks and an OB creek on the left. The ideal line is a right handed backhand with an understable or neutral disc that flips up and sneaks through these blocker trees you can see on the right side without fading too far left into the creek. There's also an alternate route sidearm players could throw up the left side, but it's not going to get you to the pin. We will see about that, sir. There's also um, OB deep, this pathway. Oh, that's right, huh? This is a really tough oh, Wait, the, 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 the path is not OB. Oh. I'm remembering that, sorry. Uh, a breaker from Haley. Oh. Oh, huh. that was a bad kick. Yeah. That looked like it was coming in nice. It was. She still has a putt for the birdie, though. Zoe, this is a pathfinder trying to find one of those. Oh, it has. Get through. Get through. Oh, no. Stop. Oh. Stop. There is an OB Creek down there, but she is it thankfully looks safe. just short of it. Yep. yep. The Boomer with a Sidewinder. Ooh. I mean, kind of the layup shot, but she may get a lot. What? Wait, okay. Okay. <laughs> Sorry for the spoiler. Um, I guess so. the pathway is not out of bounds, and I guess the sidearm can get to <laughs> yeah, the pin. Yeah, oh. sorry. <laughs> <laughs> double, double mess up there. Ellen gotcha. Ellen uh. is showing me how to throw this <laughs> shot. PA1 from Cat, and unfortunately does find a tree going PA1 again, but a different one. Oh. And found a tree again. That's not going to fly the same. Mm -mm. Going for a PA1 for rocks. the third time. And oh, oh my gosh. She's hanging out with Haley right there. It's maybe 1520. Not terrible. Ellen coming back for the birdie after going long. Just Ellen things, apparently. Wow. That crushing those sidearms yeah she's got those flip ups with the understable so well oh zoe giving it a bit but she not to be super blocked there yeah with that little side tree and cat for the bogey save tourniquet putt here <sighs> Whew. good one that's great recovery after man so many trees yeah Haley, our first birdie of the day yes sir knocking it down nice birdie Haley. This card needs some birdies. Let's go. I do. There's a smile. Ellen, saving par. Yeah, I'm going to have to go back and look at that line she took. I'm, I'm so confused. That was pretty spicy. I, <laughs> I didn't see how the disc <laughs> could get there on a sidearm line. That's awesome. She's got those flip-ups just dialed. Haley with the challenger. Send a chain. Clean spin and a very confident putting stroke from her. And these are what, Mach 7s? Sevens, sevens, yeah, that's what Keenan was telling me. On to hole five, par three, 306 feet. Place through this initial gap with a mandatory left. Then you're out in the open for mostly half the hole. And then the line moves up to the right into a grove of trees that surround the green. This hole plays to a really strong sidearm on a pure hyzer. They'll get you a look for birdie, but players will probably be turning, a lot of players will be throwing a slow turning backhand. It's a much more difficult line and it slopes, the fairway slopes from right to left 
and there's a ceiling to contend with. Yeah, really tough to get all the way to the bucket. Haley King forehand, that is a force. That looks pretty Whoa. Oh, that was looking good. That has some action on it. But unfortunately, out there in Parland, most likely, Zoe Andike, this is a mantra. Keep coasting. Oh, it's going to hyzer her out down that hill. It's going to be a little bit of trouble. So she's out in um, Seven's Fairway? Yeah, somewhere out there. Six's Fairway? Mm-hmm. Ellen, going with a strike. There's the line. I love this throw from her. Get there. Right beyond those triple trees. He's right out circle two's edge, I want to say. Somewhere around there. That's a good look, though. It was. And Kat. Oh. Yes. I was hoping I would see her throw a few rollers today. Uh, F7. But, oh, oh wait. Whoop. It got through. Jukes, jukes. It looked like it got caught up. Yeah, she's up there. She's got a putt. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And the good side of the green. Uphill with less. There's less trees on that side. Mm -hmm. Haley just conceding par. Nice approach. So far, par is good out here. It has been. Zoe. Oh. Nice approach. Beautifully done by Zoe. Katrina looks like she's 53 to the pin. A putt she can run, though. Absolutely. And she hopefully can make it. Hmm. <laughs> the little pouty face. Did it, hit a, did it hit a tree on the way Must out? Have hit, it looks I like it hit it early. That was funny. Ellen Woodboom for two. With the Nova in the basket. Heck yeah. Look at that smile. What a great smile. Wow, what a, what a great putt. She's playing great. She's been throwing really great lines. I mean, I know that was her first birdie, but man. I, She's been doing, I mean, throwing all these lines that yeah. nobody else is throwing. She I almost love it. aced four. She almost ate, like, aced yeah. three it was. Almost got that birdie on two. Yeah. Wow, she's dialed. She is throwing darts out here. It's fun to watch. What a great birdie. That's the step putt. Holding it. Got to hold it. Oh. And... Left side keeps it in. Nicely done, Ellen. That That's was fantastic. So awesome. Yeah, and Ellen was, I think, the only birdie on that hole. I would buy that. It's a tough get. It's one of the more difficult ones. On to hole six. This one's only 260 feet, plays slightly downhill, gently sloping for the first part of it, and then there's a severe drop off towards the green. Drops like 35 feet at elevation. Players can choose a slow turning backhand through the middle gap or a hyzer sidearm through the left gap. There is a creek on the back left side of the basket where the backhand air could get into. Um, and then there's a slope on the right side where the sidearm can kind of come up against and stay inbounds. And Ellen just sort of putter, try to mitigate that downhill green. Comes up a little bit short though. Haley opting for a zone. Oh, up the left gap or up the middle gap. I'm mm -hmm. kind of surprised. She's challenging that right side. Ooh. Oh, she's got a really good look at it yeah. all the way down there. About right around circle's edge coming back towards the basket now. Zoe throwing a link. Needs that to keep turning. Oh. oh. I love that line out of her though. And Cat even with a sidearm. Man, I guess it's a sidearm hole. It is. Apparently. It's shaped that way for sure. H3V2 from her, but found a tree. This will be a PA1 approach. And settle a little mm. deep. Hang that on. tree looks like it might be in her way as yeah, well. Yeah, hopefully not. We'll see. Zoe. Leaving a little putt for her, but mm -hmm. definitely very makeable. That it is. Ellen, long stab for the two, but she'll just be laying up and taking an easy par. I mean, she could just throw it in again, <laughs> like two in a row. Might as well. She's throwing darts out there. Ooh, Haley comes up a bit short on her birdie bid. Cat hoping for a different result on the par putt. Nice. There's her stroke. All right. She got 12 more holes to get some birdies with that. Yep. Beautiful putting stroke. She'll fight back for sure. Zoe for a par save. Nice. Clean spin. Zoe sponsored by Infinite Discs, and she got kind of a couple of her own discs she's throwing out here today. Yeah, she's got a really mixed bag right now. Mm -hmm. 
it's always fun to see what players who throw a mixed bag are throwing. You know, mm-hmm. they're like, oh, they're, totally. they have access to the bestest on every company. Uh-huh. I also like just getting in FPO players' bags because they don't have, all carry the same discs. I feel like when I film MPO, it's the same like four discs. <laughs> you know, right? I, I don't know. I, I just feel like I get to look, see a little more. A little uh, more creative lines. Yeah, uh, we will be right back, guys. Passion is more than fiery emotion. It feeds the spark to start your day. It fuels your obsessions. It inspires your dreams. Passion challenges your fears, and it repeatedly bathes you in sweat until you are transformed into a new, better you. Disc golf isn't just your passion. It's ours, too. You've seen them in the hands of professionals, helping them compete at the highest level. Whale Sacks is a female-owned small business, handmade in the USA. We are dedicated to outstanding grip for all disc golfers. We are back to the action in Auburn, uh, looking at hole seven. Very gettable. Very. 273 feet. Plays from right to left, slightly uphill, through about a 30-foot gap with a low ceiling right about here with those rocks. There is an early mando right that's preventing the sidearm players from taking that side door. But most players are going to throw a flat, neutral disc, looking to hit that gap and get a slight fade to the left for that birdie hook. Yep, just right there, 273 out. There is a high hyzer line as well. Which sp- oh, like a high hyzer. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yep. Ellen Widboom Speaking going to the backhand. Of high hyzers. Oh, go. Okay. Pin high right. Haley King. Throwing. There's the high hyzer. Yep. Okay. Throwing the raptor. Get in there. Oh, that is lovely. Ooh, you know what? I think that's the line. Yeah. I changed my mind. Takes, takes Don't take the low gap. Takes things out of the equation, but does take a little extra power to have that opportunity. Zoe going low uh, with her Sphinx. Uh, getting chunked up by the rocks. Yeah, those things will get you. Katrina Allen going with an M2. Looks a little inside. Yeah, had a little crowd noise on that one. Just kind of got her a little bit and then an unfortunate roll on top of that. Uh, Zoe, 86 to the bucket. Looking for a good approach. Oh, that'll do. And Katrina trying not to fall over. Yeah, tough footing. Isn't that weird? Oh, no. Well, she got to look. Hopefully she can recover from that. The boomer from 60. You know she's got it in her. Right? Let's go. Oh, what a good bit. <laughs> just a little right there. I just, this whole, this round has got me just rooting for Ellen right, <laughs> right? now. <laughs> Hopefully that doesn't change. Looking at Katrina Allen for par. Oh, the world. Beautiful putt. She deserved that par after the crowd noise. You know, I Absolutely. was, I was really happy to see her make that putt. It's great to have the crowds back, but sometimes yep. there's always this uncontrollable situation. Yep. Ellen, great par save from her. Throwing a dart right at the middle again. It's not an actual dart, though. It's not not, oh. Nate, not Nate Sexton. <laughs> Haley making good. Solid birdie by Haley. Two under par from her through seven. On pace for a good round. And Zoe cleaning up the par. No problem there. Full extension. The classic cat putt. Goes out of frame for a little while and comes back in smashing chains. Love that. All right, on to eight. And we are going uphill. And this one is long, Sarah. Wow, not only is it 390, but it is also uphill. For at least the first, you know, for the first two thirds of the hole, it's actually very open. So players can throw a pretty, pretty you know, uh, distance shot and however they want. But then it pushes into this like wooded tree line where there's like a couple different alleys, the basket situated up to the right side. Most players are going to throw a distance shot looking to land in one of those two alleys, leaving them 150 feet to the approach. Um, But, you know, there also is a chance for a roller to get all the way up there if they can really push it. Haley King pushing a Zeus up the fairway with an air shot. 
That's fine. Yeah, yeah. It penetrates the, the tree line and it'll open up her approach lines. Mm -hmm. Ellen going for a shrike. A little high, but not much wrong with it. Yeah, just at, at the edge of the tree line. Mm -hmm. She'll have to navigate some kind of big oak trees. We have an emperor coming from Zoe. Yep, also just right at that tree line. It almost feels like this is like a three and a half. Yeah, I, I feel like it's a little mispart, There's honestly. the roller. Yeah. Come on, Nia. Ooh. Oh, it looks like it was a little too much angle. And she is literally on top of Haley's disc right there. Oh, really? Like 90% <laughs> overlap. <laughs> I once lost a disc almost by my disc landing exactly really? on top of it. Oh, I could see that. It was insane. We were looking for, you know. Great shot by Ellen. For Haley's disc for a second, and then Kat's like, oh, here it is. Zoe, approach. Little short. I love how simple her form is. It just seems very repeatable. Yeah. It's a great word for it. Haley King, a saucy little flexy approach. Easy little tap in. Mm -hmm. Kat, also 121 to the basket. Come on, scoot, 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 Go. scoot. It's All trying. Right. Yeah. Close enough, you hope. Yeah. Zoe for the par save. Great putt. Also her putt, same thing. Simple, mm -hmm. not a lot extra movement going on. I mean, I guess that's why she teaches so well. I know, right? Yeah. Ellen doing the Ellen thing, making putts, saving a par. And cat for the par save. Gotta imagine we saw a lot of pars in this hole yesterday. Yeah, and honestly, it played as the hardest hole with zero birdies. Mm -hmm. But it sounds like if it played harder than it played as the hardest hole, then there was quite a few bogeys. Yeah, I would imagine so. Follow through for days. <laughs> it's effective. Still holding the putting stance. <laughs> well after it hits the chains. On to hole nine, Sarah. Hole nine, this is a pretty fun one. It plays downhill from left to right to a blind basket situated right in front of a creek. First 150 feet is pretty flat. Then it goes downhill like two, 25 feet to the creek, which is only 10 feet past the basket. It comes up real quick. There's also a rocky area in front of the pin that can kind of get the disc stuck. And then you have this crazy death putt, whether you're gonna try to make it or not. Haley King with a forehand Zeus play. Definitely plays to the forehand line when it comes to the lack of technicality required to throw the shot. Yeah. But leaving you that death putt. Yeah. We'll see what she does with it. The boomer. What's she going for? A sidewinder. Going a little right of optimal. Over by the next tee pad. Mm -hmm. Zoe. Going emperor again. Turn. It's a turn. Key turning. This looks now nice. It's losing elevation. Sit. Yeah. Okay, she's got I, not putt. I mean, she w could leak into the creek if she runs it, but it's also you know parallel to the creek. Yeah, so. definitely not the worst angle. H three H three V two from Cat, a fairway driver or control driver. And over by Zoe, yeah. also in the open with you know an idea whether she can run it or not. I mean, it's certainly in the in the cards. Ellen? Contending with the garbage can? Yes. <laughs> Not a bad spot to take a par from, at least, you know? <laughs> Takes the danger out of the equation. Uh, Katrina? Looks like she's got a ceiling, so she's got to spin it a little bit. Yeah, Ooh. able to make the run. Oh, that was close. Stay safe. <laughs> a little so he's got a similar look with a slightly worse angle. Yep. Oh, oh no, oh no. That uh, is that's wet. Oh, bizzle. Yeah, that one hurts. Haley King, 100% death so putt. So she runs it. And, oh, and sploosh. Pays the price. Yeah, I guess that's kind of the way it goes. Yep. I'm sure she kind of accepted those two outcomes before she putted. Okay. Thankfully, the comebacker is short. Quite makeable. Oh, no, Ugh. that hurts. Yep. Goodness. Be an unfortunate double for Zoe. 
Haley gonna try and keep it to a single. Oh, that almost whoa. missed. That was, that, that was about an inch or two from not staying in. Whew. Yeah, fortunate result for Haley. Katrina. Turns out par is good on this one. Yeah, actually, the only birdie we saw on this in the entire field was Cat Merch. Oh, yeah. Huh. She's got an arm. Makes sense. And Ellen. she got a sidearm working now, too. Oh, yeah. Mm, that's dangerous. Yes. Getting more tools in the bag. Never hurts. Ellen, the flip up forehand tool. Got working all yeah. day. A little little body English on the follow through that was cool. Yeah, <laughs> that's usually like I meant to turn it a little more. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think you're right. <laughs> oh, that's funny. Oh, that actually, that was that shot, wasn't it? <laughs> oh, that's good, sir. All right, we'll be right back with part two. Hope you guys like part one.